Good morning, everyone. So this isn't, well, I wouldn't say technically Friday. It's not Friday. <laughs> this is Saturday. So this is technically not a flip through Friday. We'll call it a flip through not Friday since I uh, got the last part of my unicorn color and chat video up yesterday. So today what I want to do is go through my mandala books. For March, we're still going strong with Feline February, um, but in March, we're going to have a color lawn that's Mandala Mania. And I thought to prep for that, just in case somebody would be interested in one of these books, I thought I would do a flip through of all of my Mandala coloring books. I'm a bit bummed because I cannot find my Flower Mandala Creative Haven coloring book. And that's crazy because I know I have two copies of that and I can't find either one. So if I can't find that here in the next couple days, I think I'm going to have to order that one. That's probably my favorite overall mandala book. But these are all really good choices too and I've colored out of most of them. So next month will be pretty interesting and oddly enough, I think I have just enough for a video here rather than having to split this into a couple parts. So... Let's go ahead and get started. If I can find a place to put these. Other ones. That's not going to make them all fall over. There we go. Alright. And just so y'all know. To kind of prep for it. This is the feline February tag. Speaking of which, if you'll give me just a moment before we get started on this. Now, you know what? I'm going to wait for my next color and chat on that one. We'll just wait on that one. Be Make a little more sense anyway. Where is my pen? About to just grab a random gel pen. I know, I know. How dare I use my gel pens for something other than coloring. So Feline February 2019 is the current tag for this month. Any feline, big or small. For March, it will be Mandala Mania 2019. I will put the official I'm going to do the official like kickoff video probably late next week. I'll introduce the co-hosts that are co-hosting with me this month. I'm trying to remember. I think it's Samantha Oswald and then Anne from A Colorful Life. I think those are the ones I may have to check to be sure. I'm <laughs> Obviously, I'm very organized right now. But um, we'll do an official kickoff video. I'll make sure you know who the co-hosts are. And so if you love mandalas, this will be the month for you. So let's go ahead and run through some mandala coloring books. See if there is one that catches your eye. Let me grab a drink of coffee beforehand. I got the double cup of coffee this morning. We've got two mugs that can handle two cups of coffee, and I felt like I needed one of them for sure this morning. This is the Butterfly Mandalas Coloring Book by Joe Taylor. It is a Creative Haven coloring book. For those of you that are familiar, hang on a second, let me do something. For those of you that are familiar, what in the world got on this paper? That's so strange. That are familiar with Creative Haven coloring books, they are single sided. I would say towards the medium quality of the paper, and they are perforated. So every Creative Haven book that I know of that's part of the Creative Haven brand comes like that. So this is by Joe Taylor. They have an example here, inspirational example. There'll be 31 designs. Let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. 
This coloring book, per the Creative Haven series for the advanced colors, features 31 stunning designs that combine two of the most beloved aspects of the natural world, butterflies and flowers, with the serene and peaceful mandala motif. So let's get going. I like this one a lot too. I will I'd like to say I'm going to color out of all the books, but we uh, I think that's the one that's on the uh, yeah, the example page. We all know that's going to be ambitious for me. So this is one that I started and have not worked on in a while using my chameleon markers. I have been blanking out using those. I, I like using them. It's just it's going to take some practice and as you can tell it definitely bleeds through so uh, alcohol marker would definitely bleed through. I would recommend putting a blotter page behind. I would do that with anything just so you can avoid anything from pencil marks to alcohol marker bleed through. I <clears throat> I've noticed I like a lot of the mandalas that have some uh, of the dark and the shading already in them. It adds a little more um, contrast to it when you're adding color to it. That one's cute. Now some of these books I have shown recently, so I may run through those a little bit faster, but I wanted to make sure to put all my mandala books in this video just in case for some reason you did not see one of those previous videos. So since this is more of a collection, there are probably books in here I've shown before. I'm sure most of them are. So I really like this one. Hmm. Got to get my little uh, bookmark. Thing. bookmark thing that's real descriptive Michelle my cat bookmarks the little flag flags there we go so my plan for the month is to try to color using different mediums I might even use some of the chameleon markers that would this would be a good month to do that John at the Bibliophile Colors will be doing Marker Madness during the month. So that actually goes in really well with mandalas. So <laughs> there will definitely be some marker usage in these. I would say these are medium to detailed complexity. So uh, there's not really any simple, super simple ones in here. Who doesn't like peacocks? I can't remember. Anne? I think it's Anne. She probably doesn't want to color this page then. <laughs> There's some birds in here as well. You got some birds, butterflies, and you got some flowers mixed in. So it's my acorns. Has it really been only two weeks since I brought Leroy in? It feels like it should be so much longer, but when I was talking to my bet yesterday, I was like, I think it's only been two weeks. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty much still the same as it was earlier in the week. He's having spats with Oreo for some reason. Oreo does, has a dislike of him. But 90% of the time they're fine. It's just usually during the day Oreo seems to just have an issue with them. So everybody else, I haven't had any, we hadn't had any issues. So I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. But for two weeks they're doing really well. And normally at this point, I would be introducing a cat to the other cats. So the fact that he's out of the room from pretty much 8 a.m. to 9 or 10 p.m. at night, and there's only an, one 
pairing that I get nervous about, that's not bad. So that's not bad at all. And then here is another example back here. And there you go. So that is Butterfly Mandalas by Joe Taylor. And the Creative Haven books are what I would call like a standard size coloring book. <clears throat> so if it's not a color by number, I'd say around 30 images is the average. When you get your color by number books, though, you actually get more images, speaking of which. Here is Creative Havens Mandala's Color by Number. This is by Shayla Shala Kerrigan. There you go. Gives you the legend here on the first page. I like good size uh, text for those of us that have trouble seeing little details. <laughs> Now this will actually have 46 mandala designs. Now these range from I'd say medium to detailed complexity and the numbers can be kind of hard to see. Just when I had it in here. I was going to show y'all use my magnifying glass and show y'all the numbers but I'll have to zoom in on one and show it to you. If you do have trouble seeing smaller text, I would suggest that doesn't mean you can't color out of something like this. I would just suggest a magnifying glass. And I know, I know for some of you, you're like, I don't want to admit that, but I love my magnifying glass and I'm really surprised that it's not sitting here on my desk. It's probably with my Flower Mandala's book somewhere, both copies. I was using one as a tester copy. It was the reason I had to. So. But with the smaller text, I've had a lot of success using a magnifying glass. So Now these do have lighter line art. It's not the really dark line art. So if you're not a big fan of that, this may not be the book for you. We will be coloring at least one out of this book. What it will be, I do not know. I'm going to try to pick one where I can see the numbers easily because I really don't want to spend the whole time running a magnifying glass over the page while I'm trying to record it. So, some owls. That might be the one right there, actually. Fairly decent size numbers. The numbers do get a well, maybe they don't get bigger, they just look bigger to me because they're not as so squished together. And I don't know, I may not even do this one on camera with it being a color by number. I may this may be one I save for off camera or something. We'll see. I've done color by numbers before on, co on color and chats so. I know it's kind of hard to see it because the line art. That's why I try to zoom in and bring the actual camera in. There we go. I think that's going to be the best I can do. I don't know. This one with the cupcakes is pretty appealing to me. food and cats. There are a couple more uh, less detailed ones like this one in here. So Let's see I like this one too. So <laughs> see lots of lots of choices. Just gotta decide which ones I can commit to for the month.
like a little snowflake there. That's what it reminds me of. I apologize if I'm a little quiet. I pretty much started this video up as soon as I got up this morning. I knew the longer I went today, the less likely it would be I would do a video. So I figured I better go ahead and just record it while I'm still feeling somewhat, somewhat productive. That one's cool. Like one of the, reminds me of one of those little like shiny pinwheels you see in people's yards. Wasn't there a kid's? I'm trying to think of the kid's song. It was like a pinwheel song. Where did that come from? Was it Sesame Street? Might have been. I don't remember. Wasn't like Schoolhouse Rock or anything. That one's cool. It's almost like a compass. Probably is a compass. It's one with some butterflies. You've got some butterflies and flowers there. That's a good combo. Some real dramatic page flipping there. That one looks really detailed. No, said not right now. And here are, they do show examples of the, them finished on the back and front cover. No, don't feel sorry for her. Get. No, don't feel sorry for her. That cat has been clingy for days and days. All right, now move over to some Jade Summer books. Alright. We have Mandalas for Beginners. These are on Amazon printed paper. They are not perforated, but they are one-sided. Gotta get that cough before it gets cold. If I'm not mistaken, these are all unique images. I don't think they're repeated. This is one of the older books, so it says a free PDF copy. 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 Free PDF copy. <laughs> Who needs actual copy when you have a PDF version of a cup of coffee? But that doesn't, those don't they don't provide those anymore, so yeah, okay. So if you are just starting out with mandalas or mandalas or uh, you'll hear me call them both, then this might be a good book for you. This is definitely more uh, simplistic mandalas. Some days these are my speed for sure. Like the little birds. That one's pretty. This is one I did complete using, I think it was just Sharpies. It may have been one Prisma marker because I couldn't find the color I wanted. But um, uh, I'm thinking of doing another one, a similar looking one in this book and doing that one in all cool tones. So I like that one with roses too. Actually, I really like the one with the roses. Just throwing crap all over the desk this morning.
I'm glad I got that video finally rendered. I kept, my program kept just airing out and closing out on me. I think this was one of the ones I was flagging for the cool tones. And some little bears. That actually, I think, would be the better cool tone one. Let me bookmark that one, too. Now, I will admit that when I go to color, I don't really, you know, reach for my mandala books most of the time. But they are growing on me, and I figured since it was March, this would be a good month to definitely um, get more involved with them, try some different things. Like here, doesn't necessarily all these elephants don't necessarily have to be the same color. I get so locked in with certain colors for certain pages that it would be nice to just kind of pick a whatever type of thing. Make something that's very symmetrical, not symmetrical, I guess. I know that that probably will aggravate people and it will make them uncomfortable. You know, uh, if the pins aren't all lined up exactly or if it doesn't look orderly like it should, but I think it's a good thing to try some different stuff. Get uncomfortable with, with it sometimes. I might find a method that I really like because of it. I believe there are 50 images in here. <laughs> I like that one, the little goldfish. I like the animal mandalas one a lot, which is actually the next book we're going to look at. But for some reason, I typically seem to like them more. one's pretty. I like the the vines. Like the stem like vine look. It is RuneScape Double Experience Weekend. So while I have been coloring, I've also been playing around a bit in that game. Oh, figure if I'm going to play some and skill up, this is a good weekend to do that. Hey look, more cupcakes. Now these, of course, are a uh, more bold of a mo more of a bolder line art. That was the last one. Yep, that was the last one. Yep. Okay. So there is that. Speaking of animal mandalas, we have the Jade Summer Animal Mandala coloring book. I think I did a digital a version with a digital printout of a rooster with some Crayola watercolors out of this book, and it turned out really nice. So, Animal Mandalas by Jade Summer. More peacocks. <laughs> if it's an animal book, you can bet they're probably in there. These, I would say, simplistic to medium level mandalas. 
I don't think you get really detailed ones in here. And some of these you just get a you just get one animal with a pattern set behind them like here. A little different. Leroy is meowing at me, I think. I'm not really sure why. Okay. Hi, bud. What you doing? He's up milling around top of the closet now. If you hear noise, that is probably him. Will you quit? Ugh. Literally climbing the walls this morning. Here's the one I did using the Leisure Art water-based brush markers of the snacks. That one's cute. Some of them I feel like maybe just are a little too simplistic, but since they offer variety in here, that doesn't bother me as much because, like I said, everybody has different preferences when it comes to mandalas. And I like that one. At some point it just becomes easier to do it. <laughs> to flip through the book like this. Ugh. I can be coloring that one. Nope, nope. Not a fan of spiders. But anyway, in between coloring I probably will be doing some skilling in RuneScape. I, uh, there are some things I can do kind of where I can color and skill like an AFK type deal, but you have to be pretty organized to be doing that in a lot of cases. So I just get bored very easily for some reason still. Man, let's get back to where I was. It was the koala, right? It jumped ahead on me. There we go. I feel like the duck one too. So like just skilling in RuneScape can get old because you're just doing the same actions over and over again. It's like a grinding type game a lot of times. But when you can get double XP, that's something you don't want to pass up. What is wrong, Leroy? Goodness. Oh, what is up with him this morning? He's normally not acting like that. Hope that doesn't mean he's going to be a jerk today. I'll get a toy out here in a little while and try to play with them though. The problem with playing with them is a lot of times this is the one I did using the Crayola watercolor pencils that I that turned out really nicely. I done it on a printed out version. These are all unique too by the way. They're they're not duplicates. Have they been putting duplicates out in any of the recent books? I feel like since the start of the year they haven't been. So I don't know if that's something that's going away permanently or it's just something they happen to not be doing right now. So when I mention no duplicates, a lot of the old school books have a, a set of 25 and then 25 more duplicates of the images. So.
And I believe that is the last one. Let me check. I don't want to show y'all anything you don't need to be seeing. Yeah, that was it. All right. Well, in case you didn't get enough of Christmas, there are also there is also Christmas mandalas by Jade Summer. I'm pretty sure I showed this one in the Christmas one, so we'll show it again here. Hey, some people are in the Christmas spirit year round, so and there are some cute pictures in this one. I feel like some of them could be counted more as like winter rather than Christmas too. So, like this one. Well, you got a woman. That's never mind. I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> on that. On that note. It's like the cat sensed I was trying to do something, and so now they've got to act all kinds of crazy. This is the one I did with um, pencil underneath, which I believe was the Fila's, and then, no, marker underneath, and then over with the Fila colored pencils. Like this one could be more of a snowflake design, so you could, you know, you could use that one for winter if you wanted to. Now Oreo is snoring. Again, Amazon printed paper. All of these are one-sided and they are not perforated. What are with cupcakes in these books today? I, I think with the exception of the Butterfly Mandalas one, every other one has had some sort of cupcake mandala. It's like the universe is trying to tell me something. The Jade Summer books you can purchase on Amazon. They no longer have digital copies um, at the Etsy store, so you can purchase those off of Amazon. The Creative Haven books, I will put the Amazon links and the Dover publication links to those. The color by numbers can run kind of high because they have more images and I guess are a little more complicated to put together. Those can run instead of five or six dollars closer to ten. So a lot of times it's good to wait on a sale or a coupon for those, in my opinion. And then the other two books I have, which I think I've just showed the last few weeks. I uh, what am I trying to say? I think I found those on Book Outlet and on Amazon. So. Not book outlet, I'm sorry, book depository. Actually, I'm waiting to hear back. I think you can become an affiliate through them as well. And if I hear back from them and can start doing that, I will add that to the disclaimer along with the Amazon affiliate one. But if you can get a better deal on the Dover site, I say go for it. Jade Summer, unfortunately, you just don't have a lot of other options. Yeah, I think some of these you could just do more of a winter look with them. Doesn't have to necessarily be Christmas. There's more penguins. This would be a good one to do. Actually, that one is pretty cute. I think I used a specific palette for um, the one image I showed. And there's another image I completed in here we should be coming up on soon. Oh, 
and here's the other one. I did a comparison of using marker as a base and then going over it. The other one was with colored pencil. This one was with watercolor pencils. And it was very interesting because to me, the watercolor pencil stayed wet longer on the surface with the alcohol marker underneath. I thought that was interesting. I said I was going to do that more and I just haven't gotten back around to it yet. So. See, that would be a good winter one. That hasn't felt like winter here for a few weeks, and honestly, I'm kind of grateful for that. <laughs> now we'll go ahead and mark this one, too. Of course, when I get around to actually coloring these, I'll be drawing the completely different ones. Probably how it'll go. Okay. That is it. There's that one. That's the Jade Summer ones. Now, we have Mandala Meditation Coloring Book. I just showed this a couple weeks ago, I think. Or maybe this one was in January. I don't know. But anyway, at some point I have showed it very recently. So, I apologize if you've already seen this. This is one good reason why I put timestamps on here. So if you don't really feel like looking at this one again, you don't have to. I don't see any authors, <coughs> authors, good gracious, artists or illustrators on this. Um, Sterling Ethos is the publisher. And I think that's all I have on that. So pops a little bit about what the word mandala comes from the ancient Sanskrit word for circle in Hinduism and Buddhism the traditional mandala is a circular diagram that functions as a graphic representation of the cosmos the sacred space and is used in spiritual meditation healing and contemplation these are double sided the paper is fairly thick but I think with just about every coloring book except for your very high-end books like your uh, Clara Markova books it your alcohol marker is going to bleed through and even those are single-sided so just keep that in mind if you're not a fan of what's on the opposite side then it probably doesn't bother you but I would put a blotter page behind it just to be safe nice variety in this book we will definitely be coloring one out of this book. Which one? I do not know yet. Most of these have very thick line art, but you do have some with a little bit thinner art as well. I think I got this one off Book Outlet. I'm moving a little faster just because I did this one recently and this one and the one I'm showing after this one are ones I've done re uh, shown recently. A little bit different variety of shapes in this. They may still have a circular shape, but some of these definitely look different than what I'm seeing across the books. Like this one, it still has a circular shape to it, but you've also got kind of a box shape around that as well. Which is nice. I like I like having stuff like that kind of mixed up <clears throat> to get a little more variety. There's plenty of them in this book, so Here's some really thinner line art detailed ones. I would say gel pens or fine liners probably would be really good for ones like this. 
We probably won't be doing one like this for March. The really detailed ones aren't typically my favorite. These are more my speed. But we'll see. Who knows? I might get in the mood to do one really complicated one. Like I said, it's kind of a month of challenging myself in a way, so. Good size book. I don't think I mentioned how many images are in there, but it's got to be quite a few based on how many I'm seeing as I'm flipping through. I should have started keeping count. I would have lost it already, though, if I had. Let's just be real. <laughs> I can barely keep up with what I ate for lunch yesterday, so... I should have also been looking closer and using my little mark marker things. That one I think is really cool looking. I don't know how I would color it, but it looks really cool. Oh, art credit. Okay. I think this was the one that I said was they got the images from Shutterstock and they do a lot of credits in the back. Okay. That was Annie, what these cats have lost their full mind this morning. I don't know what their deal is. They are dead set on making as much noise as possible. That much I do know. They're like, oh, well, she's doing a video, so time to make some noise. This one would be gorgeous done, but shh, man, I don't know. It's definitely different. But I can see, like, um, shifting into some different colors on each strand would be really cool. And here are the Shutterstock credits in the back. And then you've got your colorable cover. It's more of a matte finish, so 90 mandalas are in this book. And finally, I think I showed this one just last week. We have Mandalas out of the Posh Coloring Book by Teresa Roberts Logan. These are perforated. She does have a greeting here at the front. These are perforated, but they are double-sided. So again, you're probably going to be in a situation where if you want to use alcohol markers, you may have to make a decision. I think I've used gel pens. If they're really juicy gel pens, they'll bleed through. If you use markers, they will probably bleed through. This is not super heavy duty paper. So if you're going to use anything other than colored pencils, I, watercolors, I'm not sure about. But I would say if you're going to use anything other than colored pencils, then I would pick an image where it has on the opposite side one you're not a big fan of. And then of course use a blotter page. As I've stated before. Apparently multiple times in this video. I kind of like this one. The little leaves going out. Oh, I try and just grab one. I 
So as usual in the description, I will have timestamps for these books. I will have links to these books. I will list who my co-hosts are for March. Somebody evidently really needs to lay on their horn there outside. Now I'll post my color lawns for the rest of the year as well. Can you believe it? I actually am going to have to start digging into my collection for flip throughs. I know a lot of people go ahead and just record their entire uh, collection of coloring books. I'm not sure if I am prepared enough to go down that route. <laughs> that would take a while. Which, uh, I mean, it's definitely not a short video for most people, I don't think. But um, what I'll probably do is just, unless I get a new stack of books in, which I should be getting one new one in soon. Um, Marjorie Sarnett has a book coming out, which is, I think, and I probably have them all mixed up, but I think it's Bells, Birds, and Blossoms or something like that. I'm getting that book in next week, I think, unless it's already been shipped might be getting it today who knows but unless I get a new one to kind of add in to the others um, and if they're new releases like that I might just do their own separate flip through when I get them because I know they're hot off the press so to speak 50 years that term may not even be able to be used anymore I mean, at some point, we're going to still have to have stuff printed, but who knows what it will be like in 50 years. Or if that means coloring books will become like a dying type art. People will have switched to digital coloring. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. Who knows? In 50 years, I probably would need to color digitally because my eyes will be so bad that I'll have to make it like a super big picture in order to see what I'm doing. But I think starting next week, unless it's a new book here and there, I'm just going to start going through my collection. And if I've shown them before, then I'll, they'll just be shown again, and I'm going to keep a running list starting, I think, with this latest last few weeks. We'll start with 2019, and if I've already flipped through it, I'll just move on to the next book. We'll just do it like that, and then every Friday you'll get a peek into my collection of coloring books. Because until I really start getting kind of, <laughs> rabid is a bad word to use for it, but unless I really start getting back into, until I start getting back really into coloring again, I'm not going to be ordering a bunch more books, no matter how much I think I might want them. I'd rather stick with what I have. Oh yeah, I, I think I picked that one as one I wanted to potentially color this upcoming month too, so... I like the negative space look there with that little flower. I think that's cool. Yep. And if I can get find or order a copy of Flower Mandalas, I will run through that one next Friday. Because like I said, out of all the books, that might be my favorite, fav favorite, good gracious Michelle, favorite Mandala book. And I am baffled as to why I cannot find one of, one of the copies. So that makes no sense. I know I haven't had them out recently, so there's got to be something else going on here. Now, as for coloring book sizes, since I didn't talk a lot about those, 
everything but the posh book i think well the mandala meditation book's a different size too let me grab that most of the books i showed you are like height with standard coloring book size uh, your color by number, you get a lot more images than you do with your regular Creative Haven books. Your Jade Summer books, you get about 50 images. The Mandala Meditation book size is more of like a Joanna Bastard book or something like that because it's a lot wider than it is tall. It's a lot different than a standard coloring book. You can see that here. And then the posh coloring books are smaller. So if I'm comparing and I'm putting this down, you know, let's put the corners flush. It's not as long and it's not as wide as a standard coloring book. So just keep that in mind. The posh book I did get from Ollie's for $3. All of their posh books are $3. I don't know why. I feel like they should be two, but still a good deal in my opinion. The rest of these, like I said, I either got online or at Book Outlet or Dover or somewhere like that. So that is it for my Mandala collection with the exception of one. And um, if you would like to join us in March and any of these books interest you, like I said, I will post the links to them below. If you care to get them now, if you want to wait and look for them yourself, have, have at that too. I just do that to try to help y'all out and yes I am an Amazon affiliate if you're not sure what that means a few cents of if you purchase through one of the links that I post for Amazon I get a few cents as like a referral marketing bonus if you purchase through that link uh, it doesn't increase the price of the product or anything but it does I do put that towards the site I uh, try to pick up things that I know other people have requested or asked for and of course there are things that I want too I'm not going to get something I don't like so uh, but if you're interested in joining us it will be Mandala Mania 2019 we will kick that off on the 1st of March for now we are still plugging along at Feline February but I wanted to get a jump on this in case you wanted to order a book thanks for watching and bye for now